It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Washington Wizards playing against the Atlanta Hawks. Well, for Atlanta, only one win in their last six games. They know they can play much better, looking to be more competitive tonight. And tonight, we get to see Dwight Howard suit up, cape Superman and all. Superman is, is in, the in the building. A somewhat polarizing figure at times. Shaq, in your mind, is he a future Hall of Famer? Eight-time All-Star, three-time Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, uh, close call. He may get it. I don't know. <laughs> Very non-committal. Uh, but you know why? You know why? Because the first half of his career was dominant. Oh yeah. And you said oh, no gosh. doubt. No doubt. This guy is going to change the game. And then all of a sudden, halfway through his career, he changed his game, and hasn't really improved as much as we might have thought. So, I agree with Shaq. A lot of hefty numbers in his first eight years. That'll be a close call. Again, how do you see it, Shaq? <laughs> That'll do it. Both teams ready for tip. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan and the crew. The Wizards are looking to defeat their Eastern Conference rival going into this game. This is Kevin Harlan. And by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony from the sideline. Hall of Famer David Aldridge and a one game homestand for Atlanta as the Hawks will try to recharge their batteries on their home court. And of course, Torian Prince with him gone. We'll see how they get along and his fans, teammates. There are a lot of people that I'm sure are sad to see him go given all that he's brought to the table. But I like what the trade does for them. I, I bet it helps them right off the bat, not to mention in the long term. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, John Wall was the number one overall pick in 2010, but he still thinks he's got a lot left to prove. Now, a bone spur in his knee held him back for several years. He's gotten the surgery now, and he says, some people get their success early. Some get theirs late. I feel like my time is just beginning. Kevin? Certainly one to watch, David. Thanks. And now, Chris, a few games under their belts. We're seeing some inexperienced guys take that next step, make that leap. Well, yeah, I mean, guys are really doing a great job on that level and given the opportunity to play in this game. And, and it's maybe because so many young players are being counted off to big roles now. You know, it, the game has kind of changed where in the past they would be on the side learning from a veteran Boys, and nice being kind of introduced and slowly introduced to the game right now though guys we've seen what they've done in college we know that they've had great coaches and great coaching and so yes uh, the bar has moved up where we expect younger players to do more uh, because the game is built for younger players fast pace right speed of the game shooting threes uh, but just having fun out there and uh, so yeah I think a lot more is expected of young guys and I think they're embracing the fact that they have a lot more responsibility all fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So on the floor for Washington. All at point with Beal to his side. They're the deadly backcourt pair. Trevor Ariza out there with Parker. And it's Portis in at the five. And that one's good. Parker. Uh, what about the vision of Ariza just slashing the D apart with his passing? And it's the Hawks ball. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. And really, man, they played their hearts out. M missed a couple opportunities down the stretch, and, and that was the difference. Absolutely right, Greg. That's all it takes. A play here, a play there, a detail that isn't accounted for, it stinks. Shot clock at two. Adams' shot is off. And extending the D there, putting a lot of pressure on the shooter. Yeah, because you're spread out. It could be difficult to contest these shots, but not for him. Hits it from three-point range. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And it's Wall with the ball for Washington. Four-point game. Ariza outside. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Beal, the pass to Portis. Rejected by Len. And he recovers it. Nice shot by Portis. The Hawks have gone two or three here to start out the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. 
That's his first foul. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. In the corner, Collins with it. Lenke kicks to Collins. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Now here's Wall. 17 points in his last outing. Back to Parker. He's looking for Portis and finds him. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Atlanta's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Here's Collins. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Nice job to get to the rack before the D could get any help in the post. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Washington Wizards. Trailing by four. Outside Portis. Ariza outside. Off target with his three. For Atlanta, they've gone three or five shooting the ball so far. Young outside. Count it good. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Wizards trail by six. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Adams against Beal. Here's Wall. Atlanta with the rebound. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Here's Len. Banked in off the glass. And you can sense they're starting to take charge here. Yeah, and it goes beyond the small lead that they built. They really captured the momentum. Now here's Wall. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To the inside. And finished off by Collins. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, okay, you've done your job so far, but the question is now, can they sustain this level of energy? There's still a lot of game to play. Here is Wall following the bucket by the Hawks. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And for Trey Young, it's a little unfair that he's already being compared to Steph Curry. Scouts are always going to look for comparisons. And I'm not saying Young is Curry, but many of the strengths and weaknesses are similar. The, the size and athleticism, the insane range, and both have that it factor. Washington making some changes. Howard comes in for Bobby Portis. That's Bryan in for Trevor Ariza. Hawks on D. Outside, Beal. That one's off. Still out of sync. Adams against Beal. And here's Anderson for three. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Wizards trail by ten. To the paint. Here's Wall. Rejected by Len. And they'll keep possession. Howard's shot is good. Young with the ball. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. I mean, and you look at his free throw numbers. I mean, it shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. Now, here's Adams. Count the basket. Oh, great ball movement there. Looking at Washington, they took the win in their last game out against the Lakers. Outside, Beal. And the layup's good off the glass. Beal's got his first bucket of the night. And look, Bill can't be stopped. Once he gets a little wiggle room, he pulls without hesitation. Young against Wall. And Young kicks to Adams. Deadman in the corner. Trying to get open is Len. From outside, off the mark. And the call will be against Alex Len. That's his first foul. Sam Decker's checked in for Washington. Sadoransky comes in for John Wall. Wizards trail by eight. And here is Sadoransky. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Outside Bryant. And the wide open shot from Decker. 
nailed from three-point land. Well, the bounce pass is the ticket there. Very nice assist. Here's Young. Seven points in the game. Here's the three. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. For Washington, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. And with the pause here, how about the stats for Bradley Beal? This last month, he's been positively spectacular. Putting up 26 points per, six assists, and three rebounds. With him, you get so much, but his ability to lead the way with his scoring, probably his best attribute. Oh, an offensive juggernaut. I mean, he can just beat you in so many ways. You got to give it up for him. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. good on the free throw well Greg for Atlanta it was out with the old and in with the new for the point guard position for the Hawks and, and Hawks were able to trade down and still get the guy they wanted and in, in young see him as an impact guard to build around for the future had to move Schroeder to free up space for young but this team now has a clear core to build around looking at the Wizards past three seasons see web bottom 10 in the league in rebounding and they have the most trouble on the defensive end. How about that? Think about that combination. When you give up second chance opportunities, you put yourself behind the eight ball. Young's shot is off. Does well to burrow his way into the post, but loses his touch on the finish. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. And now only one away from being in the penalty. against Sadoransky. Decker passes to Green. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. A nice run they put together here to bring it a little closer. But yeah, they refused to go away. Things were looking bleak for a while, but they hung tough. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks, coming off that loss against the Nets. Yeah, and in a hostile environment, they did not rise to the occasion, especially on the defensive side. Oh, yeah, they allow way too many easy buckets. I thought they lacked toughness and energy all night. And the Hawks with possession here. Anderson kicks to Turner. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Turner's got his first basket. Now you can't let Turner jump all over you. Effective at tearing the D apart on the drive with his athleticism and his speed. Wizards trail by four. Now Sadoransky. No points in the game yet for him. Outside for Beal. No good on the three. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start the shot by Turner no good I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall no good on the triple you know what though sometimes you can be too open I think it may have surprised him and that's why he missed on the wing Turner great D that time from Green Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Chris, you had a lengthy NBA career. From what you observed, talk about the differences and how various coaches hold practices and, uh, and try to teach. You just want to keep guys motivated. You want guys Two to shots. listen and then execute. And whatever you can do to get their ear, gain their trust, and then get them to go out there and execute. So if you're on a veteran team, uh, you may have a smaller practice but with more intensity. Meaning maybe you only practice an hour of live work going back and forth and scrimmaging. Whereas if you're a young team, you might be able to expect two hours of scrimmaging every day. Do the players understand the culture? Do they understand the tenets of the offense and the defense? And usually coaches coach by that need in 
necessity of the team as opposed to just having one structure. So uh, in Washington, we had three a days oh. during training camp as opposed to Sacramento later in my career. Uh, it would be one practice because uh, we're all old. We need to make sure that we get the most intensity out of this practice and then save our legs for the game. Here is Howard following the score by Vince Carter. Outside Beal on the wing green lock at six and he converts the layup green's got six points and you really can't forget about green's speed so effective on the drive the hawks leading now here's anderson he's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet releases First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for Washington. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, and fortunately for them, I, I thought the opponent's defense just never showed up. Oh, but I like that they attacked those weaknesses. They made them pay for a lackluster effort. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Well, they're hoping to take a step forward last season. Uh, the Wizards actually went in the other direction. They finished just 43 wins uh, compared to 49 the year before. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December taking a look at Washington. They're in the middle at fifth in the conference looking to build in the wins as the season goes on. And of course Atlanta sitting there four spots below. And right now for the Hawks, seeing them where they are now, it's easy to forget just how awful they were a season ago. This is a team that's made major strides to lift themselves into the middle of the pack. And credit goes to everyone, coaches, players, front office. I mean, they've all been determined to avoid a repeat of last season. The results speak for themselves. And plenty of individual talent on this Wizards roster. You wonder what will finally make things click. You do, Kevin, because they're still very young at key positions. I mean, some guys are still learning how to become professionals. But that said, at some point, you have to come together as a team if you want to advance. Turner inside. Sadoransky covering. Trying his luck deep. And Green's defense, very important to this team's success. The way he gets up in the face of whoever he's guarding, it, it becomes infectious to the rest of his guy. And Sadoransky kicks to Beal. Sadoransky gets the bucket. And it's a tie ball game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Atlanta calls timeout. And Bradley Beal earning that first All-Star nod in 2018 a top 20 score he can hurt you from just about anywhere on the court and now let's bring up the 2k leaderboard to see which teams over the last month have been best at scoring points off turnovers the Wizards second and you always like to see aggressive defense and then when you can convert mistakes into points offensively that's a big key and Beal just turned 25. Have we seen his best, or do you think he can take his game to even another level? Uh, I think the key is going to be him staying healthy. Injuries have kind of plagued him early in his career. With health, he'll be able to refine his game and fortify his defense and expand that offensive repertoire. The Wizards shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. And guys, Dwight Howard, a top 20 all-timer in rebounding, an eight-time All-Star center. Great. Will he be a Hall of Famer someday, you think? Oh, he's a lock to be a Hall of Famer. When you look at those numbers, not to mention a three-time defensive player of the year. And, and at his peak, one of the most impactful big men we've seen in the game. We know the guys who can uh, fill it up are in high demand. A lot of guys, uh, Chris, in this game with instant offense. Oh. Uh, yeah, think about Eric Gordon. Uh, 
sixth man of the year, uh, but can let it fly at any time. Of course, Steph Curry, the great Steph Curry. Lou Williams, right? Yeah. Lou Williams. I got to go to my man, uh, Jamal Crawford. You know, he's getting up there, but Benjamin <laughs> Button is still Jay Crossover, and he's letting it fly. And these are all guys I give it to him and say, I don't care how, just go get me a buck. Back to Turner. Pass to Carter. Shoots over Sadoransky. And it's Carter missing. Washington's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Here's Decker. The shot. No good. Good work defensively by Carter. Down low. It's tipped. Stolen by Sadoransky. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. The Wizards shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the former Hoya Green, a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Bobby Portis has checked in for Washington. Hall comes in for Decker. And Jeff Green drops them both. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. On the wing, Turner. He kicks it to Dedman. Down low. It's stolen by Green. Ariza goes in. Oh, the awesome vertical of Ariza. Soaring off the drive and finishing with his deceptive strength. Carter outside. Dedman inside. Working on Portis. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And Dwayne Dedman, a player who started his NBA career late, was a rookie at age 24 and then floated around to several teams. But he has gone from being an end-of-the-bench guy to an important rotation player in just the last few seasons. The first one falls. Parker's checked in for Sadoransky. He's off on the second. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for Washington. The three. It's Deadman with the rebound. Deadman's got his sixth rebound on the night. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Deadman throws it down. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Wall up top. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Ariza finds Portis. They get a hand on it. And here's Wall outside. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Tie game in Atlanta. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Easy to see the talent for this Wizards team, but their star point guard, John Wall, says that execution and consistency is key. We're not one of those teams that can just turn it on and off. 
we have to stick with our concepts. We have to play the right way as moving the ball as a team and playing team defense. And when we do that, we're a tough team to compete against. Executing your game plan, Greg, is critical to any team's success. And this Wizards team at times has struggled for consistency. When they're firing on all cylinders, though, they're tough to beat. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Josh and looking at what we've seen from the Hawks, what do you guys think? I mean, an interesting first quarter. The, the pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Well, that's what happens when you're aggressive on that end of the floor. They took a few chances and took control of the game. So on the floor Shooting for Washington, two. they've got Trevor Ariza. Portis is out there with Bryant. And it's Wall, and it's Parker in at the small forward. That free throw, no good. Oh, yeah, Kevin. And what, what a quick rise to the top has been for John Wall. He was drafted number one overall, the sixth fastest player ever to reach 2,000 points and 1,000 assists. He hits the second from the line. And with so many great point guards in this league, sometimes John Wall doesn't get all the credit he deserves. And it all comes back to winning. Stats alone aren't enough. Once Wall gets that first ring, the conversation will change. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here's Parker. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Lakers. Oh, well, his rebounding stood out, too. He gave them a big lift on the boards. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Young following the basket by John Wall. Outside Turner. Pass to Collins. And he's good on the three ball. Collins has got seven points. Turner has great awareness. He knows one of his guys is open. He gets the pass over to him quickly. And Wall. Here we go now. Second chance shot, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he's Shoot like. Two. First free throw is good. Chris, at times, what Wall gives you is unparalleled production at both ends of the floor. Uh, yeah, and the numbers don't lie. I mean, not too long ago, he was the first player to ever have at least 1,800 points, 800 dimes, 150 steals, and 50 blocks in a season. I mean, that, that's pretty incredible. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. The Hawks shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Washington Wizards. Trailing by two. Here's Adams. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Hawks have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And the first one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 
just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. And Wall kicks to Ariza. And the pass to Parker. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He got pretty much a free run to the hoop right there. They might just count those as automatic points. Atlanta's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Herder covered by Parker. One kick kicks to Collins. A three pointer is right on target. Collins has got 10. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Wall. No oh, good on that one. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. It's clear this just isn't his night. I mean, if they're going to keep him on the floor, I think his best role would be to be a decoy. Collins. Off target with his three. Wizards trail by five. Oh, he's not happy to pick up a second foul. This early in the game, he's got to be careful. Now. Justin Anderson, he's checked in for Atlanta. Young against Ariza. Wall looking for an opening. Parker kicks to Ariza. Back to Parker. Four on the clock. And again, Washington no good. Here's Atlanta now. They're on an 11-3 run. And the dunk by Land. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. The Wizards have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Bradley Beal became a first-time All-Star in 2018, but he knows the next step is becoming a better leader. He said, sometimes I can be nonchalant, locked into myself and not saying anything. It's just my personality, and as a leader, you can't be that way. You have to encourage your teammates and don't be afraid to say things. Don't be afraid to be a leader. Kevin? Good story, D.A. Thank you. Here's Collins, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And now a nine-point Atlanta lead. Washington's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The kick out to Bryant. Wall against Young. Wall dishes to Bryant. Here's Parker. Rebound by the Hawks. It's Young on the wing, covered by Wall. Adams, the pass to Collins. Young inside, covered by Wall. Well, not quite airtight defense right there, but his release was a little bit off on the jump. It's good, and the Hawks lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Parker. I love that pass. Wall is a classic point guard who makes everyone around him better. When he's missed time, his teams have always suffered. Young with the ball. Seven points in the game. Adams outside. Let's it go from deep. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Washington making some changes. Howard's checked in for Bobby Portis. Sam Decker comes in for Jabari Parker. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Trevor Ariza. Knocked away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. And a quick look at how Atlanta's schedule shaping up. On Friday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the New York Knicks. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Detroit Pistons. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Now, here's Decker. Nine points last game out. Beal gets a wide open look. Drops in the tray. Now, just a four-point Atlanta lead. A key staple of Bill's game. All he needs is a little separation. And his three ball, catch. 
Ball against Young, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's foul number two for him. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Atlanta. Carter comes in for Young, then for the Wizards. Green comes in for Bryant, and Sadoransky is subbed in for John Wall. Carter with the three. Rebounded by the Wizards. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. The Atlanta shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Wizards trail by seven. It's stolen by Adams. Pass to Len. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Len's got four points now in the quarter. Good movement there, and the lead pass was right where it needed to be. Wizards have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Sadoransky against Adams. That one drops for him. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. The Hawks leading by seven. Kicks the land. Drive by Adams. Back to land. Wide open look. And the shot is long. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making. Though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. With the teardrop. Outside for Beal. Pass to Sadoransky. Six on the shot clock. Here's Decker. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Carter, the pass to Len. Back to Carter. Adams outside. So the wing on the left. Here's Anderson. No good on the shot. And it's Washington the other way. Pass to Decker. Beal trying to break loose. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Decker. Hawks have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Drive by Adams. Here's Len. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. He played a very solid first quarter. Now he's taking it up a notch here in the second. Sadoransky against Adams. And there's the pass to Beal. Rebounded by the Hawks. They've led by as much as 10. He's not the only one to blame for them being behind, but he hasn't helped their cause much. Jacks up a three. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. Beal's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Wizards. Atlanta calls timeout. Seems weird, doesn't it, to call Howard an old-school type player? Because, see, Webb, I remember when he was considered new school. Oh, oh yeah, I do, too. I, no, that's when I played against him. I mean, yeah, the explosiveness at his size that back then felt new. But he was your classic back-to-the-basket, rim-protecting center. And once you feed him the ball, it was rarely coming back out. The Hawks have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. And Turner kicks to Deadman. Passes it to the Bembry. Back to Deadman. Over Green. Shots good by Deadman. Deadman's got his second bucket of the night. Well, you can't lay that pass in there any better. Washington calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath.
Here's a look at some stats for Howard. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. Getting around 12 points a game, 11 rebounds, and two assists. Guys, he's a difference maker off the bench. Steps into that front court and more than holds his own. Well, it's his willingness to bang down low or move opponents off the block. Those are valuable contributions. Now, here's Sadoransky. Beal taking his time here. Over in the corner, Green. And a miss there on the triple. The Atlanta leading by four. And breathe the pass to Turner. And so Green will bring it up for the Washington Wizards. And Sadoransky kicks to Howard. Pass to Beal. Launches it. Unable to get that one. Look, they cannot leave him open like that. The D got away with one there. Carter. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. Turner's got his third assist on the night. Wizards trail by six. And here is Sadoransky. Outside, Beal. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Hawks. Deadman's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Outside, Carter. The rebound by Jeff Green. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. They haven't been able to count on his scoring tonight, but still, here they are in the lead. Wizards making a switch here. Brown's checked in. There's 154 left in the first half. And Sadoransky kicks to Green. It's Beal on the wing. Deadman defending. And another miss by Washington. His percentage from the field is not very strong this quarter. Spellman headed by Green. Deadman shot is off. Wizards trail by six. Yeah, and we've watched Bill take major steps forward in this game. I mean, think about this, especially with creating off the bounce for himself and for others. Shooting two. First one falls. And you can just see Beal's confidence growing every single season. Uh, he knows he can be the best player on the court on any given night. The coaches trust him. His teammates trust him. The fans trust him. He's a tremendous catalyst for this team. Wizards making a switch here. Parker's checked in. Now, the potential this kid, Bill, has is incredible. He's already a dynamic scorer. He continues to get better every offseason. Then breathe the pass to Carter. Over Parker. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got 11 rebounds in the game. And Sadoransky kicks to Beal. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. That's 12 points for Bradley Beal. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trailing. Carter outside. Spellman offline with his three. Washington trailing. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. And there's the foul. It goes on Evan Turner. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. For Washington, they have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. First one falls for him. And looking at Jabari Parker, six foot eight, about 250 pounds. Greg, what's his best position? You know, I think he has a small forward skill, but with the way the game is changing, you could see him play some power forward as well. And I think his best fit might just be at the four because of the mismatch he can create. Now, here is Young. Seven points in the game. Over in the corner, Turner. Good on the triple. Turner's got seven points in the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Beal from long range. 
The shot, no good. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight because the three, uh -uh. not one of them, ain't working. Wizards trail by three. Here's Howard, and he banks in the layup. He has seven. And that's Howard's comfort zone, in close, near the bucket. Back to Young. Pass to Collins. Over Green. Can't hit from 12. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Hawks lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Bradley, great first half for you. Look, we know you come from a football-playing family. It looked like you wanted to establish control in a football-type way in the first half. Oh, you have to. This is a physical game. You see the refs call. They call a lot of hard fouls, but sometimes they don't call them. So, I mean, you can't complain about it. You just have to just keep attacking. And these guys are big. I mean, this is the NBA, so you have to be physical and not complain and try to go strong every time you go to the basket. Bradley, thanks for your time. We'll see you in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. A competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, I see a team that's playing smart, moving the ball around to the open man, just taking what the defense gives them. There's a nice flow, a nice energy, a nice synergy to the game. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Washington? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting a timely rebound really lifted them. The strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. Welcome back, folks. Always so much activity going on here in the bustling metropolis of Atlanta, Georgia. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. One of the stories here, John Collins getting it done today. And I loved in that first half that they were patient, looked for good shots, and knocked them down. Yeah, and then it wasn't all dunks. I mean, they were squaring up with confidence, and that became contagious. Here's Wall. They've got Young. Collins is out there with Len, and it's Adams in at the two. That's the group starting the second half for Lloyd Pierce. And it's sent back by Howard. No trespassing. Howard patrolling the defense again. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Now, here is Young. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. It's good. Collins has got 14 points. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, I mean, you spend all that time in the locker room trying to get mentally prepared. Then you come out and give up that. No. Shots good from Young. And the effortless shooting motion. Young's three-point jumper is just poetry in motion and has it on automatic. Now, here's Howard. And the call will be against Alex Len. That'll be his second foul of the game. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Washington. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Down low. 
And now here comes Collins leading the break and finish off by Collins. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Wizards trail by six. And Wall kicks to Beal. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Len. The Hawks, another fast break opportunity here. And it's blocked. Oh, tremendous reach on the block by Ariza, making a real effort on defense. And here we go. Washington fast break. Walls running. No good, unable to end this run. Some tough D in the paint. Getting between him and the bucket and stopping the easy dude. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Parker and the dunk by Parker. Oh, looking to connect with the open man Portis. He's got the right mentality out there. Atlanta leading by four. And Young, here we go. Good on the bucket. Young's got five points in the quarter. But it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. And it's Wall with the ball for the Washington Wizards. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. I mean, wow. The scoring ability of Bill is so impressive. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Ryan is checked in for Bobby Portis. One falls for Beal. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Ball against Young. He kicks it to Adams. Back to Young. Wall with some nice D. Wizards trail by three. Here's Parker. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, that makes him four for five. I mean, uh, I think that's pretty good numbers. I mean, they've got to be pleased with how things are playing off so far. Now, here is Young. He's got 12. Inside. Hawks making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. He gets it in there. Adams has got ten points. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. A lot of times your defense is your offense. Your offense is your defense. This is poor decision making right here. You can't let them have that shot. Also might have been a lack of effort. And still early in the period. And they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Beal finds Wall. Over Young. Five on the clock. That one's in there. The Hawks' lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from John Wall. For Atlanta, they've gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Anderson outside. And the pass to Young. Deflects the pass. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. And don't forget about the good hand-eye coordination. I mean, he almost corralled it in for the steal. The Hawks making a switch here. Plumley's checked in. Goes up off the inbound. And there's the nice layup by Adams. He's got 12. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. And Wall kicks to Bryant. 
It's tipped. It's stolen by Adams. To the paint. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. The Hawks shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. The Atlanta making some changes. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for John Collins. And Turner's subbed in for Adams. One shot, gentlemen. That's good from Plumley. Wizards trail by six. Tipped away. Fast break. The Hawks. Turner leading the charge. It's not going to go for him. Nice D from Wall. Here's Parker. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Parker's got eight points in the quarter. Um, when you're open, Bill will find you outstanding and working the ball over to the open man. Young against Wall. And Plumley kicks to Turner. Back to Plumley. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got four assists now tonight. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Timeout, timeout. Washington calls timeout. Well, their goal was to limit their turnovers, I and mean, they've wasted way too many possessions with giveaways. So both teams changing it up here. The 2K leaderboard is on the screen now to reveal the dominant scores in the NBA over the last month. Number five is Trey Young. What a performance offensively. Something has really clicked with his game over this stretch. So it's Washington now. Six-point game. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. good on the free throw he hits the second from the line and the Hawks with possession here they've led by as much as 10 following this game they hit the road they'll take on the Knicks in New York and that'll be the first of a two game road trip for them Here's Turner. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Turner's got nine points. Well, Turner has a reliable mid-range shot. This is where he likes to operate. He looks comfortable shooting from him. And Evan Turner, the former number two pick out of Ohio State. You know, he acts as a utility knight for this team. He can wear a lot of different hats. His versatility might be his best trait. And with Turner, as you mentioned, Greg, he can play both wing spots and does whatever you need from him on offense. Well, you like what he's playing in the post and, and bullying small wings. Much better from that area of the floor than from outside. He also can act as a playmaker, very adept at running the pick and roll. First free throw is good. Just a bright, young, offensive talent. Young isn't shy about forcing the action. Takes a lot of trips to the line. Jordan McRae, he's checked in for Washington. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And I'll tell you, Trey Young, go big or go home. Always gives you 100% as competitive as they come. And the young fellow wants to win so badly, sometimes that emotion really comes out. Now, here's Wall. He's got six. Six to shoot. 
Green draws the double. Over Young. That one's in there. The Hawks' lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Green. And you know, Greg, it's amazing. The impact Young makes, especially, of course, on the offensive end. High-level shot maker, a, a threat the moment he crosses half court. Instinctive playmaker, just needs to play more within himself and avoid over dribbling. Kicks to Turner. Over to the wing. Young outside. Over to the left wing. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Wizards trail by seven. Here's McCray. Goes back up. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And, and who doesn't love stats? Here are some numbers for Parker. He's averaging 14 points a game, five rebounds, and three assists. And guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. Well, yeah, lately he's been overachieving a little bit. Hopefully this is a sign of greater things to come. The first one falls. Howard's checked in for Bryant. And he makes both free throws. Atlanta leading by five. Here's Young. 14 points for him. Spellman. A three-pointer no good. Frozen. Guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. One falls for And so he's able to get one of two. Atlanta leading by four. Anderson passes a turn. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Evan Turner, a wing player who helps in ways other than scoring. He can bring up the ball and initiate the offense, and he's decent in the post and clever when he gets it inside. Well, see Webb with Evan Turner, the former second overall pick. He gives you a little bit of everything. Now, the one thing missing from Turner's game, though, is outside shooting. He had a career 30% shooter from beyond the arc. But the Gentlemen, instincts on shots. taking threes Two are shots. still, he, he's at his best when he attacks the rim and creates for others. And he makes the first. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And Washington making a change here. Beals checked in. Free throws good from Turner. Oh, Turner, he's so valuable to this team. He's a guy who can play multiple positions. He can score, rebound, he can pass as well. Outside wall. The Wizards with another miss. Atlanta leading by six. Here's Deadman. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Deadman's got seven points in the game. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm and it's wall with the ball for Washington he dishes it to be at the wall young with the steal 
outside Turner. Passes it to Young. Spellman goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Hawks lead by 10. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Bobbed up there for Green. Oh, he gets in a good position in the post, and the entry feed is there for him. Atlanta calls timeout. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Collins checked in for the Hawks. Carter comes in for Justin Anderson. And a moment now to check out the numbers for a wall. Second and steals, and such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And back to your point, number two in steals, he's just a tireless worker. Plays that hard-nosed on-ball defense. Most guys just can't disengage from it, and he makes that one. Collins has got the lead up to ten now for Atlanta. Wizards have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Outside, Beal. Shoots over Turner. Turner with the steal. Knocks it loose. Collins. There's the feed to Carter. Makes it off the glass. And it's a 12-point Hawks lead. That's just too easy. I mean, you can't let him post you like that. Well, yeah, you want to try to deny and take something away, but you can also see he's smart about his position. Now, here's Wall. He's got six. Beal can't get it to go. Collins dishes to Turner. Young passes to Collins. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And when you watch Collins play, Greg, you just can't help but notice how athletic he is going to the rim. Man, his hang time and ability to throw it down <laughs> make him an ideal finisher inside. Very efficient because he's not only a strong finisher, but also enjoys attacking the rim. And, and does a great job, I think, of picking up One misses. Shot, gentlemen. Just being a pest for the defense. And so it's Washington with it. Down by 15. Wall against Young. Outside Beal. A floater. Count that one. Beal's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, Beal plays big in the paint. It doesn't matter who's on him. He's determined to finish over. Now Young. 14 points for him. Pass to Dedman. Collins wide open. He fires. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. It's only a matter of time until his three-point shot comes back to him. I mean, he knocked down two threes before halftime. Nothing so far here in the second. Now here's Wall. He's got six. Ariza outside. Out of bounds. Atlanta takes possession. And a brief look while we had the chance of a few of the hottest big men in the NBA. The leaders among centers and power forwards in field goal percentage during the last month. Dwight Howard on top. You know, he's gotten to the top of that list because he has a terrific sense and touch around the basket. He just finds ways to convert low post opportunities. Young with the ball. He's picked up by Wall. Offensive rebound. Beal with the steal. And there's the foul. It goes on Evan Turner. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. First one falls. That 
that one falls, so he hits both of them. The Hawks leading by 11. 59 seconds left to play here in the third. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. And look now at the various locations of the shots taken so far for Collins. And it's really been a tremendous night. He's been efficient. He's been a major driving force in this offense. And it's no small task to try to slow him down. Once he gets rolling, like we've seen in this game so far, watch out. Deadman kicks to Collins. A baseline J. Shots good by Turner. Turner's got six points in the quarter. You've got to appreciate how assured Turner is. I mean, he gets his shot off quickly off the pass. Wall against Young. Outside, Beal. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. And that's now 22 points for Beal. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Pass to Carter. To the middle. And stolen by Howard. Beal with the steal. And there's the foul. He goes on Evan Turner. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, we'll be headed to the free throw line. That one misses. Good on the second free throw. The Hawks leading by nine. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Adams against Wall. Now here's Len. He's covered closely. Here's Adams, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on John Wall. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Eight seconds left in the third quarter. This is his third trip to the line tonight. The first free throw is good. Now the number one overall pick in 2010. I mean, Wall became a bona fide star. He plays with an edge and energy. And he can't hit the second. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's Atlanta. They're up by 10. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great vision. He's a gifted passer. Has his finger on the pulse of this offense. <laughs> 
And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. So on the floor for Washington. Wall and Beal pair together at the one and the two. Portis is out there with Trevor Ariza. And it's Howard in at the center. Anderson finds Adams. Hawks passing it around. Unloads from nine. Jump shot is good that time. Anderson's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Hawks. Adams against Wall. The pass to Howard. Bobbed up there for Howard. The alley-oop layup. Very well done. Well, at this stage of his career, Howard knows what shots to take. I mean, he's a smart offensive player. Adams outside. The dish to Anderson. Back to Adams. Over wall. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Picked his pocket. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Beal with the steal. Pushing it up. Ariza has the open look. Another one falls for Washington. Oh, just the blazing speed of Ariza. Coming in handy on break. Really using his quickness to beat everyone to the rack. The Hawks leading by eight. To the paint. Here's Len. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. And he can't get the first one. Ryan is checked in for Washington. He's good on the second. Wizards trail by nine. Outside wall. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And you can sense the urgency from them now. They were flat in that first half, but they've come out here in the second and been much more aggressive offensively. Now here's Adams. Here's Len. Bryant with the rebound. Cloak loose. Passes it to Beal. Pulls up from the corner. Again, the Wizards score. He's really turned it around here in the second half. I mean, his offense has returned. The Hawks leading by five. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That will be foul number five on him. So it's the Hawks now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. That one good for two. And 11 points for Alex Len. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Wall against Anderson. Right side wall. To the inside. Here's Beal, rejected by Len, and he's able to get it back. For Atlanta, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Adams outside. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. And now, let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Washington Wizards. 
On Wednesday, they'll be playing against James Harden and the Houston Rockets. Then on Saturday, they'll go up against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And for the matchup with the Pacers, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Now here's Wall. Inside, here's Beal. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Now it's just a three-point Hawks lead. Atlanta shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Beal against Anderson. He kicks it to Land. Five to shoot. Dishes it to Anderson. Here's Adams. But he gets it back. Out to the right wing. Second chance shot. That one doesn't go. Good work defensively by Bryant. And there's the call on John Collins. That's his first foul. Young's checked in for Justin Anderson. And a switcher also for Washington. Parker's checked in. And the Wizards with possession. They're on a 12-3 run. And Wall kicks to Portis. Stolen by Collins. Throws it up high. And the dunk by Lynn. You just can't leave anyone open around Young. He's very capable of spotting his uncovered teammate. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Now here's Beal. Sweet little floater. Beal's got eight points in the quarter. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And the way they clamped down on D has been a big factor in this run. Kicks it to Collins. It's stolen by Bryant. And now in transition is Parker. Here we go. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. He's given them a nice lift this quarter. The shots are falling for him. For Atlanta, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Len passes to Young. A three-pointer is right on target. And this is why Young is so dangerous. He just gets that shot off so fast before the defense can react. And Wall kicks to Parker. Land against Portis. And it's Wall in the corner. Here's Parker. Rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Young taking his time here. And Len has it in the corner. Herter covered by Parker. Shot clock at five. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold streak, he can give you what you need. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for the Hawks. And the Wizards making a change here as well. Ariza's checked in. Now here's Wall. Len grabs the board. Len's got four rebounds now tonight. Drive by Adams. Shots good by Dedman. Now it's a six-point Hawks lead. Uh, those passes into the paint have to be precise, just like that. Wall finds Ariza. To the inside. Now here's Parker. He's tightly guarded. Lynn with the block. And they force the violation. shot clock violation. Great team. The Hawks leading by six. Now, here is Young. Deadman inside. He's covered by Beal. Pass to Adams. Here's Len. Shot clock at six. Shots good from Young. 
a high-level shot maker. Just a threat the moment he crosses half court. Young gun. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Young with the steal. This game is going to get even more out of hand unless they start valuing the basketball. Adams against Portis. Adams dishes the land. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And Washington has possession. It's a 10-point game. Outside, Beal. Back the wall. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Alex Len picks one up. Did you see how hard Wall went inside? He welcomes the contact on every play. First free throw is good. Howard's checked in for Portis. And so John Wall nails both of them. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Len. Here's Adams. Good D by Ariza. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. To the inside, stolen by Len. Adams, the pass to Devin. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Two shots. Foul. Two. Uh, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw missing. And he sinks the second. All with it. Guys, their comeback bid had better get started. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. Here's Beal. And Adams sends it back. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. Here's Howard. Tries again. Doesn't go that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Adams in the corner. Wall against Young. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. And Washington making a change here. Sadoransky's checked in. And stolen by Howard. And here they come. High arcing shot. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Sadoransky. Oh, the float is a tough shot, even when you're that close to the bucket. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish. 
out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Trey Young. Yeah, he's just been a pest out there tonight, putting major pressure on him with his D. His steals keep adding up, and to have a player putting that much pressure on the ball, it, it does wonders for the team. It, it throws an opponent's entire game plan into disarray. He's played up to his full potential tonight, and he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Lloyd Pierce was saying to the team. He told them, put your foot on their neck. Take it to them. I want to see you guys slow it down out there, use the clock, and stay away from silly fouls. Let's see if they can execute the play, guys. Thanks, David. Yes, that goes in. Sadoransky's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, he just exploited the size mismatch, and he's getting the easy looks tonight. Left side, Adams. The pass to Len. Lock at six. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. A perfect position to grab the rebound. Gets underneath, boxes out, and pulls it down. Left side Ariza. It's Beal on the wing. Nobody near Parker. Off the left rim and out. Atlanta leading by seven. Turner got it. Good job in the low post. Just great anticipation by Young. He just sees the play developing, knows exactly where he wants to go with the ball. Ariza with the bucket. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Adams against Sadoransky. And here's Ariza. Right side, Beal. Shoots over Adams. Beal can't get it to go. Atlanta's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Herter makes it off the glass. And the Hawks lead by nine. He's the best when he's assertive like that. I mean, don't take any chances. Take it to the cup. And Zosedaransky will bring it up for Washington. Pass it to a reason. the first one and that brings them within eight and that one goes in two from the line that time the hawk shooting 53 percent from the field in the fourth quarter can't ask for more than that from your offense land dishes to deadman hawks passing it around down low. Here's Adams. Can't hit that one. Now Washington takes it the other way. And at a certain point, there's just nothing more you can do. Yeah, this is tough. Putting in that effort, but then walking away without that W. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Yeah, those free throws helping him to make the lead even safer. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And they're going to have to score. Quick foul. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's a lot to talk about in this huddle. They'll also have to decide who they'll want to foul. Veal finds Parker. Here's Sadoransky. Deadman defending. Money! And now they trail by just four. Oh, that's just a terrific night for him from the floor, making almost everything he looks at. And they go to the intentional foul.
Two shots. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Washington calls timeout. They're behind by five. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And they're going to have to score. Quick foul. Can't waste any time here. Well, there's a lot to talk about in this huddle. They'll also have to decide who they'll want to foul. Time working against them here. It's going to be crazy hard right now to catch up. They need a quick score and a quick foul. Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one. But he's got the limp to be the first one, too. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Two shots. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. Here's Sodoronsky. Parker outside. Here is Howard. Yes! He is so experienced in these situations. I love seeing Howard welcome the chance to be the hero. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Well, I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you later.